What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Anaconda Essentials tutorial. And in this one I'm going to show you how to manage Conda environments. So let's say you've got Anaconda with Python 3.5 installed and you got it set up just the way you like it. But you've heard Python 3.6 is out and you want to try it. Well you don't have to delete everything and reinstall Anaconda with 3.6. What you can do instead is create a Conda environment and your 3.5 and your new 3.6, well those can coexist without affecting each other. You can set up your 3.6 environment however you like and install whatever packages you want. You can even have multiple versions of Python and they can all exist without affecting each other or messing each other up. So if that didn't make sense, let me start by showing an example. So let's get started. So I'm gonna jump over to my command window and if I type Python, you can see I've got Anaconda with Python 3.5 installed. So let me start off by showing you how to create a conda environment. So the command for this is conda create dash dash name. And we're going to give a name to our environment. I'm going to call it pi36. And then we specify the version of Python we want. So we say Python equals 3.6. And then we list all the packages we want. And you have to give it at least one. So I'm just going to say pip and numpy. It's going to ask me if I want to install them. I'm going to say yes. And we're done. So if I want to use this environment, well, what I have to do is activate it first. So I'm just going to type activate and then the name of the environment, pi36. So you can tell it's activated by the name of the environment shown right here. So now when I type Python, you can see that I've got a Python 3.6 open up. And I can import num numpy and I don't get an import error. But let's say I want to use uh, matplotlib. So when, when I import matplotlib, you can see I get a module not found error. That's because I didn't install it or I didn't specify it when I created the environment. So if I want to install it, I can do it like I would any other package. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use conda instead of pip. And I'll explain why I'm using conda instead of pip later. So while my environment is activated, I'll just type conda install matplotlib. I'll say yes to install these. So now when I go back into Python and I import matplotlib, no more module not found error. So the reason why I used conda instead of pip well, let me show you. So if I were to do conda list dash dash explicit, you can see that it's listing all the packages that I installed. So if I were to use pip, well, I wouldn't get those packages. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why it works like that, but when you use the explicit flag, you don't get the pip installed packages. And this will come important later on in the video. So now if I want to check what environments I have installed, the command for that is conda info dash dash envs. So you can see I have the pi 3.6 environment that we just created. I've got a TensorFlow environment and I have my root install. And the asterisk indicates which is the active environment. So if I want to deactivate and go back to my root environment, I can just use the command deactivate. Now let's say for example, you're working with a group of people on a project and you wanna make sure everyone is using the correct version of Python and the correct packages. Well, the easiest way to make sure everyone is on the same page is to have someone create an environment exactly the way you need it to be. And then you can create a requirements file, which you can then share with your group. And then they can use that when they create their environment to get the correct version of Python and the correct packages along with their versions. So let me show you how to do that. So let's jump back over to the command window and I'm going to create my environment. Let's do conda create dash n. We don't have to do the whole dash dash name. We can just use dash n and we'll call it prod project one. And let's use Python 2.7. And then let's use um, pip, numpy, and flask. So I'm going to say yes to install this package or this setup and then let's activate project one. 
Now that the project's activated, let's say, oops, I forgot to install a package. So let's do conda install, um, let's do pi installer. Oh, mm, looks like that's not there. Let's try again. Let's do conda install matplotlib. And again, the reason why I'm using conda is so I can use that explicit flag when I do conda list. So I'm going to say yes. So now when I type conda list dash dash explicit, you can see we've got everything that we specified. Uh, a bunch of the Flask stuff, pip, NumPy is in there somewhere, right there, and the matplotlib stuff. So now, in order to create the requirements file, I'm going to use the same command. And one note, we have to do this when the environment is active. So we'll use the conda list dash dash explicit. Then we use the arrow, and we give it a file name. So what we'll do is we'll call it uh, project one rex txt. So now that that's created, let's go in and check out what's in that file. So project one txt. So basically it's all the stuff that we had listed when we use that command conda list explicit. So now you can even see at the top of the file, it says this file may be used to create an environment using conda create dash name, whatever your name is, dash dash file. So let's try doing that. So let's first, let's deactivate. And now that we're in the same directory where the file's at, we can do conda create dash n. Let's call it project one B, just so we give it a different name from the one that I've already created. And then we feed it the file. So we do dash dash file, and we call it project one rex. And we're done. So now if I were to activate my project 1B and do conda list dash dash explicit, you'll see that my new environment is an exact copy of the previous one. So that's how you export a requirements file and install an environment based on a requirements file. So lastly, I want to show you how to remove an environment. First, let's deactivate, go back into our root. And then the command for removing an environment is conda remove dash n. And first, let's get rid of project project 1b dash dash all. So it's going to ask me if I want to remove all this stuff. I'm going to say yes. Now when I do conda info dash dash envs, you'll see that project 1b is gone. And finally, let's get rid of project 1. So we'll do conda dash n project 1, whoops, conda remove dash n project 1 dash dash all. I'll say yes. Cool, so now if I do conda info, both project one and project one B are done. So lastly, if you ever need help with some of these conda install or conda list commands, what you can do is just use the help flag. So for example, if I do conda dash H, you can see it gives me all the options I have to use with conda. So there's conda list, conda create, conda install, update, etc. And then if I need information on say conda create, well, I can just do conda create dash H, and then I can get more information on what to use with conda create. So if you don't like going to the command line for help, you can always come to the website. So they have a, a website with all the information that basically all the stuff I went through in this video on this website. So. Here you can see managing environments, creating, listing, removing, sharing, cloning, all those sorts of things. So that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, leave it a like. If you have any questions or if I missed anything or any commands you'd like to see talked about, 
um, leave a comment below. I'll try my best to get to it and maybe do a follow-up video. So one more thing, if you check the, the homepage on YouTube, you'll see there's a link to a Facebook group. So if you go there, feel free to comment or contact me directly. And I'll, I'll try my best to provide a little bit of one-on-one -on -one help and get a little bit quicker feedback to help you guys out. So yeah, feel free to use that. And that's it. So if you like the content, hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos on this in the future. So that's it. See you guys.